Hi year one, here we go with some more maths. Hope you had a good weekend. This is your maths lesson, week five, lesson one. You need to get your whiteboards. Make sure it's portrait way up and number down to 10, like we've done before in class. In your Google search today, you need to type in daily 10. And hopefully it comes up with the top marks website. Like so. I want you to choose level one, subtraction. And we're going up to 10. And remember, you can choose how long you're going to have to answer each question. You might want to start on 10 seconds because it's quite hard subtraction. So write down your answers. Remember, don't be shy, have a try. Just have a little guess if you're not sure. When you've finished, you get to have a go at being the teacher and do your own marking. The answer to number one was two. If you got it right, give it a tick. You can always check back what the question was. Because remember, some of us are visual learners. Seeing that will get that in your brain and you'll remember it forever and ever. Question two, what was the answer? Now remember we don't like crosses, so if you didn't quite get it right, you can just put a dot next to it or just leave it. It doesn't matter. Check back what the question was and you might remember for next time. If you did well and you're happy to have a go, have a go at seven seconds. If you found it a bit tricky, why not give yourself 15 seconds? Play at your own level, you choose. How did you get on? Hopefully your score got better and better. Today we're going to be measuring again, but we're not measuring weight, we're measuring capacity. Now all that means really is how much water or milk or whatever liquid a container can hold. So I've got this Coke bottle and I've got this jug. And we're going to find out which one can contain or hold more water. Which one's got the biggest capacity? What do you think? I fill the jug right up to the top so it's really full with water. I put a bit of orange cordial in so that you can see it. What do you think is going to happen when I pour it into the Coke bottle? Will it be able to hold it all or not? Now, I'm going to have to use a funnel for this, and I'm doing it in the bath. Or bath, as most of you would say, apart from our Theo. <laughs> okay, I've taken the label off the bottle, so you can see what's going on, but it's exactly the same bottle. Here we go. happened? Would you say it's full, empty, half full? What would happen if we did it the way around? If we filled the bottle up with water and tried to pour it into the jug? Let's see. This time then, the Coke bottle is full and the jug's empty. Here goes then. Mm. Oh, nearly there. Oh, a jug is full. But this one still got about half of it in. What's going to happen if I try and pour more in? Yeah, it won't fit in. There's just not enough room. So which container holds the most? Which one has the biggest capacity? It's good if I did this in the bath. <laughs> now you give that a go. 
get yourself two containers, pop them in the bath, get a grown-up to help you and try and predict which one is going to hold more water. Test it out just like I did. Be careful, you might get wet. For your next activity, you need a yoghurt pot. And six containers you choose. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see they're all different shapes and different sizes. Now with your grown-up helping you, make sure they're all in the bath and fill up your yoghurt pot with water. Try and predict how many yoghurt pots of water each container will hold. Test it out. Have fun by keep pouring yoghurt potfuls of water into each container and counting how many yoghurt pots each one will hold. And then put them in order in a line from the one with the smallest capacity to the one with the largest capacity. Now I'm going to show you my spice jar and you've got to decide whether it's empty, nearly empty, full, nearly full or half full. So how much liquid is in there? What do you think? Which one? Well, it's not empty. It's absolutely full, isn't it? It's holding as much water as it can. What about now? Is it empty, nearly empty, nearly full or half full? It's nearly empty, isn't it? How about now? Empty, nearly full or half full? Well, it's not empty, is it? And it's more than half full, so it's nearly full. Next one. Is it empty or half full? Well, it's definitely not empty. Some people would see this as half full. You could also say it's half empty. And here it is empty. You now need to have a go at page 20, which should be in your pack. Have a look in your pack now for Mastery Checkpoint 23. It's also in the Google Emergency folder. You can write your answers on the square paper and it's just checking whether you've understood so far how we can measure weight and capacity. Don't forget to clean up any mess that you've made with this lesson. Thanks to the mums and dads for helping with this one. See you tomorrow, boys. Bye.